Welcome back to French King Recreation Center, where number two seed Rich Bober will be taking on number three seed Ed Tringali, who is fresh off a win over Stephen Reno Jr. Rich Bober will be starting on lane 14 with Ed on lane 13. Rich qualified with a 646 in the five string qualifying round. That was just ahead of Ed who had 640 and Ed starts off with a strike. Let's have a look at this on replay. Ed Tringali hits solid in the 1-2 pocket and the 7 pin is the last to go. It almost looks as though it's going to stay up but uh, that's a strike to start off for Ed Tringali. Rich Bober with 1, 3, 7, and 10 and he gets the 1 and 3 and that wood goes over and Rocks the seven a little bit, but it doesn't go. So Rich Bober will take an eight in the first box. Rich with a nine drop in the second box, leaving a seven pin. And Ed Tringali with another strike. He starts off with a double. As you can see, he gets a splash. Two and three pins go to the sidewalls. And very lively action. Six pin is the last one to go. So Ed comes right out of the blocks with a double strike. And Rich Bobert slides by that seven pin. That's not what he wanted to do against a, uh, a double strike. He'll take a 10 in the second box for 18 through 2. Rich Bober is also, like Stephen Reno Jr., is a member of the Extreme TNT. And there is a strike for Rich Bober in the third box. Ed Tringali trying to get a triple strike. He comes close, but he's got the three and six still left. So he's got 28 through the first. Let's see if he can convert this spare. Got it. So Eddie is off to a flying start. And Rich Bober punches through the, the middle, taking out the 1, 5, and 8. Ed Tringali drops 7. He's got the 1, 2, and 10. And there's a good second ball by Rich. He puts 7 on that strike. And let's see what... Uh, Ed Tringali with the spare. That's his fourth mark in a row. And Rich Bober will take a 9. Not sure how that 10 stayed up. Here's another look at the spare conversion by Ed Tringali. Right side of the head pin, and the ball goes over and takes out the 10. Very nice conversion. So Ed is off to 4 marks in a row. Rich Bober with a solid ball in the 1 three pocket, leaving the seven pin. And Ed also leaves the seven pin. So he's got 84 through four. Rich Bober using the wood to convert the seven. Nice big target, why not use it? And Ed also converts the seven pin. So they will switch lanes through five and we'll take a look at the scoreboard. You can see Ed Tringali with five marks in a row starting off with that double strike. So he has 94 through five with, with a ball still remaining and Rich Bober with 54 through five plus a ball. Ed moves over to lane 14.
Edric Alley with another good ball on the head pin. A little bit high this time, and he kind of similar to that splash he had in the second frame, but this time didn't get quite as much action off the walls, and it leaves a four, six, seven. Piece of wood there, wow, and that's a great pid right there by Ed Tringale. He tried to kick that six pin over into the four, seven using the wood, and it actually went in front of the four, seven. So that will be his first open box of the match. He takes a 10, that gives him one 11 through six, Rich Bober with a 10, that gives him 69 through 6, so he is down 42 pins with 4 boxes remaining. Ed Tringali with a, another 1-3 pocket hit. He's got the 2-8 with some wood in between. So if he hits the 2 pin, he should convert this. And he's got it. Might have actually missed the wood, the uh, two pin and glanced off that wood, I'm not sure. In any case, spares for both bowlers in the seventh. There is a strike for Ed Tringali in the eighth frame. Here you look at it on replay, solid 1-2 pocket hit. He trips the 6-pin off the wall. So Ed is giving no ground at all. There's an 8-drop by Rich Bober on the spare. That gives him 87 through 7. But Ed Tringali with 131 through 7. So it's looking pretty, pretty certain that Ed Tringali is going to move on to the final match against the top seed, Dave Dupuy. Two boxes remaining, as Ed fills the strike that he had in the eighth. And he misses the head pin, but gets a lot of sidewall action. Ends up with an eight drop leaving the 1 and 8 with some couple pieces of wood in between the 1 and 8. Rich Bober has the 1, 4, and 8 piece of wood in between the 1 and 4. It actually doesn't look bad. There's another piece of dead wood out there that he's... Uh, we've got a runner down there removing that wood. Let's see what Rich can do with this. No, he just went by the head pin. As soon as he let go of that, you could tell he uh, he knew he didn't have it. So it'll be matching tens. So Ed Tringali has got 160 through nine to Rich Bover's 114. So Ed is obviously going to be moving on, but let's uh, see what he can do to fill out the, the match. Ed starting off with an impressive debut here on the Western New England Tour. I imagine he'll be back. That'll be a seven box, but that is a 167 game for Ed Tringali. Meanwhile, Rich Bober with a 9 box to finish with 123. So let's take a look at the scoreboard. And you can see Ed Tringali with a very convincing win over Rich Bober. He just uh, checked out on him early and often with five marks in a row. You can see that 101 half, and it was pretty much a done deal by that point. So Ed Tringali with a 167 to 123 win over Rich Bober, and Ed will move on to the finals against Dave Dupuis.